Well, so the last time we spoke about AI, you were quite sanguine that the, uh, the so-called alignment problem that many of us have been worrying about was really a non-issue. Uh, the analogy you used at the time, perhaps this was one among many, but the one that sticks in my memory was the analogy to human teenagers, right? Yes. We don't really have an alignment problem with our with with teenagers, or if we do, it is Super Bowl by conversation. We have enough time and we have enough memory resources by which to to converge with the, with their cognitive horizons, and they, and they, we don't have an intelligence explosion or any other explosion generally with our teenagers. Do you still feel that way about uh, AI? Yes, I still think that's a very good analogy, but that analogy contains a, a, a hidden explosive. Namely, it's not unknown for teenagers to grow up into tyrannical dictators who destroy things. Right. And the same, at, at the present state of culture, the same is going to be true of, of AIs. You asked me last time whether the fact that they will be able to think much faster than humans will make it more difficult to acculturate them. Mm. I don't think so, because as I said then, the, the things that make them faster are not the things that, that, that provide the G in AGI. The thing that provides the G in AGI is bound to be simple mm. because we know it is simple in humans because we only differ slightly from chimpanzees. Right. So right. although there's a huge amount of culture added to the, the, the hardware in humans, the thing that is, that is causing the generality must be a relatively simple program, only a few K or only a few mm. tens of K. Right. Uh, and therefore, when it comes to catching up with the, with the, with the, uh, our AGI offspring, you have to it, it, it imagine them also having only a, a small program, which is using a vast amount of computer power. That's like a human having a computer on the desktop. We also, when you do mental arithmetic, you're not using the G part of your, of your yeah. mental makeup. You're using the, the dumb computation part. Right. You're harnessing your brain to do something that's not really human at all. So we can offload that kind of task to computers, and we already do. That's how we use them. And that is how I would like to think of a future that it is a program similar to our program with a lot of computer power, which we could also have access to. But our access, aren't there a fair number of, of devils in, in the details of, of what access amounts to in, in a case where... Again, so to bring you back to the concept of an intelligence explosion, right? If we have now AI agents that are that suddenly become the best programmers and hardware designers, and we have we we have factories wherein they can fabricate the next iteration of of uh, compute, uh, then they're building they're building the machines, uh, and suddenly we're in the presence of something that is far more competent than we are across uh, all possible cognitive channels. Oh. And now we're, now we're struggling to type faster on our computer that's on the desktop, safely on our desktop, saying, wait, that's not quite what we want. Uh, can you just stop this process for a second so that we can have a conversation with you? And now we're negotiating with it. And then, so, then, so then how are we not playing a very an obviously doomed game of chess against a chess engine that is uh, that has double Magnus Carlsen's ability now and will have double that 10 minutes from now. Uh, and that chess, we know how that chess game is always going to come out, don't we? So to follow your analogy, mm -hmm. if I want to play uh, a game of chess against Stockfish and have a chance of winning, what I'll do is use a copy of Stockfish. So right. the thing that makes Stockfish good at chess is a program and some hardware. And the program uses the hardware. It's not that the hardware itself can play chess. It's the program can make use of that hardware. Right. So can a human. A human can make use of the same hardware. 